I'm Eitan and I work on, pro on Tango. <laughs> we dropped the project. And today I'm gonna show some demos uh, on the device. So the first one that I'll show is a Domino's game. Uh, and this was in partnership with Shell Games. They built this game. Uh, and the idea is that you can put dominoes down in your environment uh, without having to worry about things like cleanup. So if I start, uh, I can kind of like very quickly draw a path of dominoes. And the device also understands where I am uh, in the world and the geometry of the scene. So you can see that there are dominoes sitting on the ledge and dominoes on the floor. So when I start, the dominoes kind of go down. And then they actually go up to the ledge, you know, so it understands the difference in geometry. Um, you can also add like some colorful toys to the demo as well. So we can add like a plane uh, and that plane so now if we start again, the dominoes are going, the plane goes up into the world, and then we can add special dominoes that have effects, so you know, we have butterflies that fly up into the world. It's just kind of a really fun, playful experience. So the next demo that I'll show uh, is more about utility. Um, so one of the things that can be hard to do with your phone today is to take measurements. You normally have to get a tape measure out and actually do it by hand. But Tango devices understand the geometry of the space around them. And so we're capable of building applications that actually allow you to take measurements of your environment. So very quickly, I can kind of spec out the area. Uh, say I wanted to put you know, a table here, but I can measure also in full 3D space. So I can actually point the device all the way up to the ceiling, and you can see you know, I have a full kind of 3D view. Uh, and we think that this is really, really useful for being able to do things like measure areas and volumes just very quickly from your mobile phone. Uh, you can also uh, create blueprints as well. Uh, so if we go to our album, uh, you can see I can get a cross-section of what I just measured uh, for my device. Cool. So... All right, another thing that I'll show, uh, this is more uh, for placing furniture in your home, uh, but we have a partnership with Lowe's. And so here, I, I often make the mistake of buying furniture that doesn't uh, actually like fit in my environment. I bought a couch, it was, it was a bad decision. And so here, what I can do is I can take furniture and let's say we want to put a couch into the world. So I can uh, kind of say, okay, that's the couch. And then uh, we can actually go and walk up to it. Uh, we can very quickly, sorry, like rotate it if we want it facing another direction. And we can get, you know, right up close and sort of see how it, how it looks in the world. Uh, so another thing that you can do is say we don't like this uh, color floor, like we don't like the wood here. Uh, we can go to flooring, and let's say we want to change it to tile. So we can start kind of dragging out this floor, and we can start seeing, you know, what it would look like to have a tile floor in the world instead of a wood floor. And we can get, you know, up close and look at the, the detail of the flooring, and just kind of very quickly, sorry. Yeah, we can very quickly kind of see that. Um, another thing that we can do with Tango is uh, we can use it to visualize things that maybe don't even exist anymore. So in this one, uh, it's a partnership with the American Museum of Natural History, as well as guy to go And here we can place dinosaurs in your environment. So say, I want to put a velociraptor here. You know, I can put it into the world, uh, and then I can decide to uh, 
if you want to, you got to look from over here, but I can decide to make it sort of full scale and uh, see what it looks like. But then I can also, you know, shrink it, oops, shrink it down, you know, to make it small. So maybe I want to see what the relative size between this and a Tyrannosaurus Rex is. And if I place this in the world, you can see that the T-Rex, or maybe we'll make him even smaller, is, is huge relative to the uh, Velociraptor. And so I can get kind of in to him, you know, look at, look at him that way. And he roars as well.